something that each scientist has in their toolbox to do proper statistics with their experimental data are replicates. Why do we need replicates and what is the difference between a technical replicate and a biological one? Those questions will be answered in this video. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay updated. Why do scientists consider replicates when conducting experiments? To answer that, here is a hypothetical research question. A researcher wants to investigate how much of protein X is found in mouse blood. If the scientist has one mouse and extracts blood from that individual, the sample is processed and the research question can be answered. 2.5 microgram per milliliter of protein X is found in blood of this mouse. That measurement represents only one sample, but it cannot be used to make a reliable statement about the protein concentration of the population. This one random measurement of a single individual does not necessarily reflect very accurately the average value in the population. Imagine three more mice are used in that experiment. From each of those, a blood sample is extracted. Plotting the data now, it seems like all of those mice express significantly less of protein X compared to the first mouse. In retrospect, this first mouse can be considered an outlier, which is not reflective of the population as a whole. This can have various reasons. The first mouse can be sick, pregnant or stressed. I believe this example showcases perfectly why replicates are necessary for a reliable and meaningful statement. What is the difference between technical and biological replicates? Technical replicates per definition are repeated measurements of the same sample. Again, we have a mouse, extract the blood sample and from this we create three smaller subsamples. Remember, these three subsamples are still from the same mouse. In this example, the gene expression is monitored with qPCR, in which technical replicates are frequently used. Technical replicates are used to determine noise that is associated with the SA or protocol or variance that is caused by the equipment. That also includes variance caused by pipetting. Technical replicates are extremely useful to address how reproducible the method or technique is. If a scientist includes technical replicates, this provides more accurate data of the same sample. Biological replicates are measurements from different samples. In that case, a scientist can use three individual mice and extracts a sample of each one. Those samples may again be used to determine the gene expression of two genes of interest with qPCR. The dots represent the biological replicates and the bar displays the average gene expression level of those genes in all three mice. Therefore, biological replicates capture the biological variation. A good advice to a scientist, at least for many experiments, is to use both biological and technical replicates. Back to the example with mice. This means a number of different individuals and of each a subset of different blood samples. This makes it easy to do statistics later. With this we are at the end of the video. Please make sure to subscribe and like and check out this cool video here. See you next time.